everyone, contestants, dragons, and guests, I think this has been an illuminating session and we could easily end here, but actually there'll be one more step. Um, it'll be perhaps a bit painful, but I think it's necessary. Uh, and this is where the dragons come in. Um, I will ask each dragon um, to nominate their two favorite proposals or, and it can be based on your criteria. You don't need to explain it. Just uh, give us two and my colleagues in Washington uh, will to ensure that this vote is carried uh, above board and all that. They will, you know, I'll make sure that this vote is, you know, the votes are counted and uh, we'll see about some, you know, what would be ripe to harvest. So with that in mind, because I, because we really know how to count votes in the United States. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a good point. I should have other monitors. Um, but yet, uh, my colleagues uh, uh, did um, agree to help me out here. Um, I'm actually going to, because it's getting late for you, Ari, in Jakarta, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put you on spot and ask you to uh, give us uh, two proposals. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll tell you my criteria to just to be fair. So, so, so you don't have to feel bad if you're not being, being chosen. So my criteria is uh, the, the creativity of the pitch and the practicality, which means to the probability of it actually happening within the SCCR. So if I have to pick two, and this is with no particular order, it will be pitch number five and pitch number six. Okay, so just to be, Clear, um, Ari, you said pitch number five and pitch number six. Yes, Sean and Jonathan. Okay, Sean and Jonathan. Okay, now um, I will go to Botswana and ask um, Madame Anka if you could please uh, give us your two favorite uh, pitches. Okay, thank you very much. And I would also want to share my my criteria. First, when you share the objectives, we talked about creative ways of assisting the, the upcoming SCCR to make progress given the circumstances we are in. And then uh, secondly, I also looked at the possibility of us making progress on an issue. So for that reason, uh, without necessarily having copied from Eri, I also ended up with the same, um, the same, uh, the same contestants, Jonathan and Sean. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Inka. Um, uh, now I would turn to Luis uh, in Santiago. Well, thank you. Uh, well, I, I, I love all the proposal, uh, but uh, considering the, the impact and urgency uh, that we have in one hand to start doing normative setting based on facts and not, uh, you know, and, and dark numbers, I, I think that transparency is a, is a very important uh, Pitch and we should go for it. And also, because of the the urgency and the impact uh, that will have, is I go for Sean uh, declaration on uh, on COVID and or pandemics. Uh, but in uh, thinking, this should be like a really short term basic uh, declaration to facilitate decisions in member countries. Thank you. But I love you all, guys. All, all, I go for all. Thank you very much, uh, Luis. And now I turn to you, Anna. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, I will stick with the ones I mentioned uh, previously. So my vote goes to one and two. And the reasons were um, they were clear enough, I think. Um, and then um, number two would contribute, I think, to some of these issues uh, mentioned in the other pitches. Um, so 
you know, regardless of the way it's done and maybe not in SCCR somewhere else, but I think the work on, on the transparency and in particular the metadata issue is very important, I think. Thank you very much, Anna. And now, uh, finally, uh, from Ecuador, uh, we would love to hear from you, uh, Santiago Ceballos. Thank you. Thank you, Thiro. Uh, it was very interesting, this exercise around uh, all of the proposals. But uh, I think that uh, proposal number six uh, has um, a good opportunity and uh, it's a good idea. Uh, around uh, a lot of countries around the uh, heritage and cultural uh, preservation. And, uh, uh, and the, the number, of, the, the proposal number five around the coronavirus is uh, so trend, trendy, I think, in this moment. But uh, my vote is for the uh, proposal number seven uh, for Teresa Hackett was uh, very important for me. I, I think it's very possible. Uh, good. It's, a, it's a good proposal. It's a good proposal. Thank you. Theo. All right, thank you. Um, just uh, give us a minute to sort of, it shouldn't be too hard, but to tally the vote, <laughs> I don't want to be incorrect. Uh, I'll join you in about a minute. Uh, Jonathan and, and Sean, I think, uh, I collected the most votes, I think. I think that's correct. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to point out that that the head of the organization that is running this forum somehow just happened to get the most votes. What? We don't want oh, you oh, and I got the most votes. Actually, I think first of all, Jonathan, I think about? you you got the most votes along with Sean. Yeah, Jonathan, Jonathan, I hereby include in my declaration a mandate to SCCR to draft a monologue. Uh oh. Oh, we're being. Did you put. So that was exciting. Was that? <laughs> well, I removed it. So uh, whoever that, that was, was the white for spirit. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Wow, very that was I've, never, I've never actually seen that before. Yeah, so. yeah. There's no real Zoom experience without that kind of thing happening. At least it was just weird techno music. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah. And with the anonymous face, it was. Could have been worse. Predict, predictable. <laughs> but anyway. So, my Washington DC, could you help me out here and count? Uh, what do we have here on the? Jeru, uh, I think we should not have America's count votes. I don't know. If okay, we, we can do Brazil's votes. I don't think that's a good idea either. Let's get some. You no, know, no, but I. Think, no, no. You know, let's get some Swiss to do so. Someone in Switzerland to do so. Maybe but, um, that would work. Or Canadians. But, Canadians are good too. Claire, what did you get? Yeah. All right, so the top two vote getters were five and six, which were Sean and Jonathan's proposals, uh, closely followed by the transparency proposal by Jamie. And and so. Oh, wow. I think. Uh, I think all the pictures were really, really uh, interesting. And uh, for me, this was, uh, I like the format of uh, people having to boil down to three minutes what the pitch is. So, yeah. No, could actually, I, so could I just add yes. in the, in the, uh, in the spirit of trying not to have anybody voted off the island, that the beautiful thing about the Doha declaration is that it instructed the trips council to do things. So a, a declaration on this issue could instruct the SCCR to do things. And so I would be happy to include in the declaration uh, an instruction that a model law on preservation 
uh, be included so what in Sean's, the instruction what Sean's trying that to do SCCR say. include its transparency provisions, <laughs> that Marrakesh be expanded to include all disabilities, and the cross-border provision be expanded to include research and education, et cetera. <laughs> what Sean's trying to do is figure out what means for action and make it part of his thing. <laughs> and, and I would like to graciously concede that others <laughs> have, have um, won this contest and I will do my best to cooperate <laughs> and give them some transition money. <laughs> um, uh, that, that's very, very Canadian of you, Jean. Very generous. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, um, Claire, would you say that uh, we can um, wrap this show? Yeah, and be good to so I wanted, any more bombing. <laughs> I want so to recount. Be, be, I want to recount. <laughs> before we close, you I, live in Georgia. I I'm sure I got some votes. I'm sure I got some votes. Where are my votes? I want all the illegal votes to stop being counted now. In Ireland, we oh, have mine. a single. In <laughs> Ireland, we have a single transferable vote system. So you vote for your first, and then you you transfer your vote down to the other candidate. So everybody Frank gets Frank. a vote. <laughs> Ring choice voting, yeah. That's so, yeah. You don't expect that to do right. Right. Otherwise, you would have like five years until the next, until we get the results there. Uh, well, can I, I ask? Uh, can I ask something? Yes. I ha I yes. have because um, yeah. So congratulations to the winners, of course. Um, but um, about the the pitch number two and the idea of metadata helping in the other pitches, for instance, for instance, in in uh, genes, uh, this number eight, the pitch where you're seeing kind of um, unwanted development, you know, uh, of copyright system, that copyright system is not working uh, properly, for example, uh, that, you know, institutions are, are forced to make some um, copyright infringements or they limit their services or they circumvent um, ways of providing content because uh, of copyright concerns. I think that's that's uh, you know something that definitely you know merits uh, work on on metadata issues because metadata um, on works and authors that are that that's uh, trustworthy helps uh, identify the the uh, st status of copyright uh, works. Uh, it helps. Um, finding right holders it helps uh, licensing purposes it makes makes uh, you know kind of even though i like uh, open access content really much i really like the, the possibility of uh, using uh, works uh, in other ways uh, you know that are assisted and, and and helped it would be also very good that you don't have to make them open you know from the start you know to provide uh, open materials but you actually could use the normal copyright protected works but the licensing of that uh, would be so easy automated um, and the remuneration would be um, directed to the right uh, recipients and and that the crediting of, of uh, you know the copyright system and the moral rights would be there um, applied as well so i mean this is i think one of these things that's that came to my mind um and what else i had 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 uh, uh well for starters but i think i mean in each you guys said so many very important things that i thought that could be you know somehow assisted by by working on on, on common principles for for uh metadata and, and data management in, in in general supporting data Thanks. I, I, yeah, I, I think I think the uh, the issue of the metadata and the transparency together, uh, the potential to be transformative in ways that maybe are hard to appreciate now. Uh, it, it was just it was just sort of change the way we begin to think about the copyright system. I think one one thing that for me is really a critical thing is just this, there's always this lingering idea that somehow, for example, in in music, that performers are somehow um, not being compensated as much as uh, publishers are in some areas. Or, you know, you sort of get this idea in some of the scientific publishing, there's this question about who, you know, how much do authors get or things like that. I think that 
knowing more about how those things work. Uh, journalism, there's a lot of a lot of the journalists that show up at WIPO are, are concerned also about uh, these, you know, they complain about the contracts they have to sign to alienate their rights to work, but we don't really know too much about what's actually happening. We just have like these anecdotes and these stories and, you know, we're not really collecting data. Um, I know that we're, we, uh, in the patent side, we're beginning to create repositories on licenses, for example, on patent licenses we could get. We have now almost, you know, we're, we're, we're working toward our first thousand licenses we're publishing. We're, so we're beginning to sort of try and, you know, just have more real information uh, about what's going on in these different areas. And so I, I, I think that uh, the normal split between uh, users and, and right owners is not, is not necessarily going to be what you're going to see. There, there's some people that really think transparency is going to be a good idea. They could be on either side of that divide and other people that may not, not want it because they may, they may think it may you know, sort of go in the wrong direction. Certainly in the enforcement side that Anna's brought up, there's, uh, there's going to be some concerns by some people that lead to more enforcement. Uh, also, if you allow me to, to follow on James, I, I think it's important that the, we, we, we have the information on what type of uses are the ones who are really making you know, the living of authors, so we, we, we can craft better the type of uh, rights that we grant and we can better craft exceptions uh, that are important. Uh, also, the, the issue of enforcement is, is very important in, in the sense that we, we see there is a lot of uh, and transparency on how collecting society works in many parts of the world and, and maybe if when we have more metadata we will be able to 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 follow to see who is uh, misusing the, the the money of the artist so i think this uh, for the artist will be very useful and if, if i meet you just yes, two minutes uh, to, to follow up and, 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 and to, again, I'm not trying to justify my, my choice. I, I stick with five and six. Well, actually, I have to also say that, like, like I said in the lightning, lightning round, that uh, James' proposal was actually very interesting and important. This is the most interesting and important. But then what, what I was imagining is that the agenda of the SCCR is very packed and the proposal is a permanent agenda. So there will be a lot of crying foul if you try to push broadcasting and exceptions and limitation and, 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 and you include a new, uh, a new permanent agenda. That's why five and six is actually very interesting because Son and Jonathan has actually make, it, make a very good point in their pitch that we are not trying to create new treaty. We are not, we're not even trying to amend any treaty, but we just give a more clarification, right? Uh, I, I think the, the US is to define and give more clarity to how we interpret the treaty that is already exists. This is a very easy way out. And actually, and actually it's, it, it is, this actually will, will better to wrap some of the exceptions and limitations agenda that it will make room <coughs> for a new permanent agenda that, that needs to be discussed in the SDCR. Thank you. Sorry, if, if I can uh, comment on Aries. Uh, uh, I, I think that the, the issue of transparency, it fits very well within the existing digital you know, content uh, agenda item. So, so, it's, so maybe it, it's a matter of how you implement that. And within that existing agenda item, we include specifically some transparency questions that we will have to define to be more important. Uh, and all, all, also, I think it is co completely agree with the, with the the declaration will be very useful you know, on, on pandemic to, to guide on this urgent moment. Thanks, uh, Louise. Um, so I think, uh, you know, thank you all our dragons and contestants. Not only was it a fun exercise, but I, I really do think that it uh, sort of helped us move beyond maybe some of our conventional thinking to uh, think about some tangible uh, outputs for our work program over the next year or two. So with that, I would like to thank all of you. And uh, Claire, I just wanted to ask Claire just to confirm this event was recorded, yes? Correct, this event was recorded and we'll post it on YouTube later. So if you'd like to refer back or send it to others, uh, you're welcome to. And maybe it'll be edited a bit to, in, to edit out that well, our visitor, but you know, <laughs> these things happen, I guess. Uh, but with that, I wanted to thank you all. 
uh, from, you know, all, you know, I know that there are many time zones involved um, from Santiago to Jakarta uh, to Gavaron. So thank, thanks all of you. And Claire, would you like to um, put the whatever, what I've heard it referred to as the kill switch? <laughs> yeah.